Hello everyone, this is Glenda Winkleman and welcome back to Creative Grandma. Today I have a brand new granny square pattern. This is pattern number 134 and I call it the daisy in the corner granny square. Now you may have seen this pattern elsewhere. Uh, I changed this a little bit. I do not chain one in between the three. I like mine closer together. I have three samples here. Now this sample here, I'm using six different colors. So this is an excellent pattern if you have a lot of leftover yarn, just a little bit here, a little bit there of all these different colors. This is an excellent uh, way to use up all those scraps. Uh, I have a picture here. If you put these squares together, I didn't make a whole lot of them to show you, but I do kind of have uh, a photo here. It's probably going to be a terrible photo, but when you join these squares together, this is kind of what it looks like, just to give you an idea of how this afghan would look or whatever you want to make. So, very nice pattern. Okay, this pattern here, I used Red Heart Super Saver. I used number 322 Pale Yellow in the center. I used 942 Melon Berry for the Daisy. I used number 661. I hope you can see it. There's two different greens here. This here lighter green is the Frosty Green. I used number 624 Tea Leaf on the darker green. And I used number 774 for the Light Raspberry and then 311 White for the outside which goes around. Now this block consists of making a granny square. So the light green is the end of the granny square with the daisy. And then you're going to work two sides in one color and then two sides in another color. And then you take your outer edge and work it all the way around the block. So that's my first sample. The second sample I have is the daisy with the white daisy. Now this I used five colors. This one I used 322 pale yellow. This is red. All these are red heart super saver colors. So 322 pale yellow for the center. I used 311 white for the daisy. I used number 668 honeydew for this light green. I used number 381 for the light blue and I used 512 turqua for this color blue here and then I brought the white back out to the outside edge. And then I made another one using four colors and this is a really high contrast kind of nice for a man. This is done in the red, white, gray and black. So I used again Red Heart Super Saver. I used color number 311 white for the center I used 319 Cherry Red for the Daisy. I did the outside of the Daisy Granny Square. I brought the white back out, 311 white. And then I done the two-sided border with Gray Heather, number 400 in Super Saver. And then I used the number 312 Black in Super Saver. And then I brought the Cherry Red, the 319 back out to the edge. So a nice variety of colors to give you an idea. And again, here's the picture just to refresh your memory of this is what it'll look like when it's put together. So all kinds of combinations of colors that you can do. Now you can either choose four, five, or six colors. I'm choosing to use all six colors and I will be remaking this block here. So this is the one I'm going to be making. Now you can just make this in one color if you want to just to practice. You don't have to do what I'm doing. I'm just showing you the stitches and how to work it. So if you're more comfortable and, you knew, and you're new and you don't want to change those colors right now until you make one or two, go ahead and use a single color. It doesn't matter. But if you want to follow along with this, grab six different colors. So just take a look at that. You're going to need a size 10J crochet hook. So grab that 
and I will be right back to get our little square started. Okay, we're going to get started. Now I am using pale yellow, so this first uh, joining round in our round first round one will be a little hard to see because I have the white background, but when we change to the darker colors, you'll be able to see a lot easier. So I have my yarn already tied around my hook and we need to chain five. So let's get started. One, two, three, four, and five. Now we're going to join our chain five with a slip stitch to form a ring. So bring your hook down and you're going to go into the last chain from hook and you're going to slip stitch. So yarn over the hook and pull it through that stitch, that chain, and then pull it through the loop on your hook. And you just created your ring. So all of our stitches will be worked inside this ring, around this part and in that ring. So I do have a little snibbling here of my starting yarn. And what I do with that is I just carry that along the edge of my work and I work my stitches around it. So to start round one we're going to chain four. One, two, three, and four. The first two chain acts as our first half double crochet and then the chain two will be the chain two. So it kind of forms that way. So now we're going to work a half double crochet in the center of the ring and then we're going to chain two seven times around. So let's get started. I'll show you how to do it a couple times and then let you finish. So yarn over the hook. And it, if you can, if you can take your last two fingers and just grab a hold of this, you can like maneuver it out of your way. So insert that hook into the center of that, that uh, ring. Yarn over the hook, pull it through your ring. You should have three loops on the hook yarn over the hook and pull it through three loops on your hook. You just made your first half double crochet. You're going to chain two. So we need a total of seven of these. That's your first. So yarn over the hook, insert it into the same center of that ring. Yarn over the hook, pull it through the ring. Three loops on the hook. Yarn over the hook and pull it through all three loops on your hook. You just made your second half double crochet. Now what I do is I do kind of pull these over so you have room to make the rest. You're going to chain two. You made two. We need five more for a total of seven. Yarn over the hook. Insert it into that same center of that ring. Yarn over the hook. Pull it through the ring. You'll have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull it through three loops on your hook chain two. So there we have three of the seven. I'll show you one more time and then you can go ahead and finish the rest. So you're going to put the yarn over your hook. You're going to insert it in the center of that ring front to back. Yarn over the hook and pull it through the ring. Three loops on hook. Yarn over the hook and pull it through all three loops on the hook. That is your fourth half double crochet made. You're going to chain two. So go ahead and do that three more times. So you have one, two, three, four. You need seven plus your beginning chain four. So ignore your beginning chain four and then you need to have seven half double crochets and seven chain two spaces. And I'll be right back after you make the, the rest of them and I'll show you how to finish and join round one. I'm back. I'm at the end of round one and please, uh, Excuse my background. I was afraid it would be too hard to see on the white. So I'm just using this right now just to show you uh, what round one should look like. You should have your beginning chain four and then you should have a half double crochet chain two seven times. So here's your chain four and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I worked my last half double crochet so now I need to chain two. So just double count your work. Seven, you should have your chain four, a half double crochet, chain two seven times. So chain four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
So now we're going to join. You're going to insert your hook into the second chain of that beginning chain four. So go to the bottom of the work and count up. One, two. Insert your hook into that second chain. Yarn over the hook. Pull it through that stitch and pull it through the loop on your hook. You just joined round one. And if you look at your round one center, you should now have eight spikes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm just going to fasten off my work. Now what I usually do is I work right over this. I just hold it against my work and I'll work my stitches right over that. So go ahead and grab your second color that you want to use for your flower. So let me grab my block. We just created our center. Now we're going to do our daisy with the popcorn stitches. So grab that second yarn and I'll be right back. We're going to start round two. So I'm going to insert my hook into any of these chain two spaces. So I'm just going to go in the beginning one, but it doesn't matter. You can go in any. So I'm going in there. I'm going to take this little bit of, well, it's a pretty long piece. I'm going to cut that down a little. And I'm just going to work my stitches right over that. Just hold it against your work like so, and then just work your stitches around this part and right around that snippling in. Okay, now I have my melon berry. I leave a small length and I also put that right against my work and I work my stitches right over it. So all I do is grab that yarn and pull it through. I'm going to chain three. Now what we're doing here is we're going to make a popcorn stitch. Now the first popcorn stitch will always be different because you're going to have to use a chain three for that first double crochet. So we made our first stitch, which was the chain three. Now we need to make four double crochet in the same chain two space. So yarn over the hook, insert it into that same chain two space, yarn over the hook, pull it through that space, three loops on the hook, yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops only, yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops. That is your first double crochet. Your chain three actually is the first, and then this is the first actual stitch that you made. We need three more double crochet for the popcorn. So yarn over the hook and work your third double crochet. Yarn over the hook and work your fourth double crochet. Yarn over the hook and work your fifth. And you can see I'm working right around these threads and those double crochet are weaving it in. It's just burying these ends so you don't see them. Yarn over the hook and pull that through and work that fifth and final double crochet. So there we have our five double crochet stitches. So in order to make the popcorn, I just pull my loop up a little. You're going to take your crochet hook out of that loop and you're going to come over here and you're going to go into the top of this beginning chain three. So count up one, two, three. Insert your hook into that chain and then go on the back side of your stitches behind your work and then grab that loop. You're going to tighten that up, make that loop tighter and you're just going to Take your two fingers and pinch those five together and squish them in half. Squish it in half and then just pull that through that, that loop on your hook. And that creates your popcorn stitch. So now we're going to chain three. Now we're going to do that in every chain two space around. So I'll show you one more time. The second popcorn is different because we're not chaining three. You only chain three in the first one to get your height for that stitch. Okay, so we're going to work five double crochet in this next chain two space. So this is your repeat, what I'm showing you here. So yarn over the hook and work your first double crochet into that next chain two space. There is one. Yarn over the hook and work your second double crochet in that same chain two space. There's two. 
yarn over the hook and work your third double crochet into that same chain two space yarn over the hook and work your fourth double crochet in that same chain two space yarn over the hook and work your fifth and final double crochet of that next popcorn stitch. So you have your five double crochet, one, two, three, four, five. You're going to pull up a loop. You're going to take your hook out of that loop and you're going to come back over to the top of that beginning double crochet of that next popcorn stitch you're making. So insert your hook into the top of the first double crochet, go behind your stitches and then pick up that loop and then tighten your loop with your fingers to tighten that tension. You're going to take your two fingers and you're going to pinch that together like a puff, puff it out and you're just going to pull that loop right through that stitch. Oops. So there you just made a popcorn. Now you're going to chain three. And you're going to do that in every chain two space around. So work a popcorn, chain three, work a popcorn in the next chain two and chain three, work a popcorn in the next chain two and then chain three, work that around. When you make your last popcorn, chain three, and I'll come back and show you how to finish round two. Okay, I'm back to my white background. So now you can see a little bit better. We have round two almost completed. You worked a popcorn stitch in the chain two space and then you chain three. Popcorn stitch in the next one and you should have a total of eight popcorn stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then ending with a chain three. So to finish our round, tighten up my loop. You're going to go over and here's your popcorn stitch. You're going to go up to top and you can see there's kind of like a, a center to the top. Like you know where you puff your stitch together and fold it in half. Go to the fold on top and you're just going to go down inside the top of that fold. Down in that, there's a little hole. You'll, you'll know it when you see it. It's not really showing up good on here. You're going to insert your hook and then you're just going to slip stitch that together. And that is what round two should look like. It's going to, your popcorn stitches will be puffed up and then you will see that these kind of like want to go towards the back and lay flat. So it will be like a, I guess a, a bowl shape if you can kind of see that. That's what it should look like. Puffy on the right side and then kind of dip down in the inside. So we finished round two so I'm just going to fasten off with my scissors and then I just knot it. Pull that knot down and then when I work round three I just work right over that end. Okay I'm back and I have my frosty green but before I add my frosty green, I'm just going to pull my sample up. Now this round, we're going to work all the way around our daisy. And then when we get this round done, we're only going to be working around two sides. So we're going to go ahead and do this round next. We're going to do three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet, and form our corner. And then we're going to skip the next popcorn and we're just going to come over here and work three double crochet in that next chain three space. I'm sorry, this was a chain three space. I got that mixed up. Uh, we are not chaining any stitches between these three double crochet. So these stitches above, we just come right down in between the stitches. So let's get started. This is where we fastened off. I'm just going to pull that yarn over carry it along the back of my work. I'm going to insert my hook into that first chain three space. Again, I leave a small length of yarn. I just fold that right up with that. I hold them both against my work. Yarn over the hook and pull it through that stitch. Now you're going to chain three for your first double crochet. So one, two, three. 
we're going to work two double crochet, chain two, and then three double crochet all in the same beginning chain three space. So yarn over the hook and make your double crochet, yarn over the hook and make another double crochet. So there is our first set of three double crochet, the chain three counting as the first. We're making our corner, so we're going to chain two. And now we're going to work three more double crochet in the same space. So yarn over the hook and make your first double crochet. Yarn over the hook and make your second double crochet. yarn over the hook and make your third. You just completed your corner. So now we're going to skip this next popcorn stitch here and we're going to go right into that chain three space right after the popcorn. So right between the next two popcorns in the chain three space we're going to work three double crochet. So yarn over the hook, insert it into that chain three space and work your first double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert it into that same chain three space and work your second double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert it into that same chain three space and you can see I'm working around my threads. Now we made our center set of three double crochet. So now we're going to make another corner into this next chain three space. Get a hold of my yarn. We're going to yarn over the hook and we do not chain between these stitches. Yarn over the hook, insert it into that next chain three space and work your first double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert it into the same chain three space and work your second double crochet. Yarn over the hook and work your third double crochet. That's your first half of your corner. We're just doing the opposite of what we did here. You're going to chain two and now you're going to work three double crochet into the same space and you can see it's starting to turn the corner and you'll be turning your work and you're working on the other edge and creating your second side of your block. So there's our third double crochet. So here's your, I'll hold it this way. So you're turning the circle into a square. So you have your first corner, you worked your center, and then you had your, your second corner. So now we're going to repeat this. You're going to work three double crochet into this next chain three space. And then you're going to repeat your corner, chain three, your corner, and then ending with the chain three. So let me go ahead yarn over the hook, you're going to insert it into that next chain three space between your popcorns and work your first double crochet. Okay, when that comes through there, sometimes I just grab that and I snip it off to make it easier to work so it's not getting, whoops, getting in my way. Yarn over the hook and work your second double crochet in that same chain three space. You're going to put the yarn over the hook and work a third double crochet in that same chain three space. So there you just worked your center. So you're going to repeat this two more times. You're going to work three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet in this next chain three space. And then you're going to work three double crochet into the next chain three space. And then you're going to repeat that to make your four corners. So go ahead and do the repeats. When you do your last three double crochet, stop, and I'll be right back to show you how to join round three. I'm over at the end of round three, and this is what your work should look like. You should have your three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet for your corner. Then you should have your three double crochet, then your corner, three double crochet your corner, three double crochet your corner, and you end with a three double crochet. And your circle is now a square. 
So now to join, you're going to go over and you're going to count up to the third chain. So start at the bottom and count one, two, three. Insert your hook into the top of that beginning chain three. Yarn over the hook and pull through all loops on your hook. You just slip stitched and joined round three together. So now I'm just going to fasten off. And then I make my knot. Pull that down. And then usually when I know my stitches are going to be further apart, I take my hook and I just weave it in and out of the top of these stitches to work it through my piece. And then when I'm coming around the other stitches when I work, it holds this yarn in place and it, it just weaves it in, it weaves it in nicely. So, okay. I'm going to go ahead and grab my second color green and then for round four we are only going to let me zoom out I think I'm a little too close to show up there we go so for round four we're just working around two sides so when we get row four done you turn your work and you come back around and only work on two sides so grab your second color green and I'll be right back to start round four. Okay, I'm back. We're going to start round four. This is where we join. So I'm going to go ahead and skip these first three double crochet and insert my hook into the corner. Now you can insert it into any corner to start this. It really doesn't matter. So to make this, because we're going into the corner, we don't need the whole corner. We're going to start here and we're only going to do three double crochet. So join your new color. I leave a small amount. I hold it to the back of my work and I grab that yarn and I just pull it through. Okay, let me zoom up a little bit closer so you can see the detail. We're going to chain three. One, two, three. We're going to work two more double crochet into the same corner chain two space. So yarn over the hook and work your second double crochet. Yarn over the hook and work your third. So the chain three counts as your first double crochet and then you work two more into the same corner chain two space. So now we're just going to skip. Now I leave my yarn hang and I'll weave that in later because if you pull it across here, whoops, sorry, out of focus, it's too many stitches. You're going to have this big piece of yarn hanging there and you'll see that. So I leave this hang down and then I weave that in later. So we're going to work three double crochet between the next set of three double crochet, we're going to skip this. So you're going to work three double crochet between the skip three double crochet and the next set of three double crochet. So yarn over the hook, insert it into that space between those two sets of three double crochet and work your first double crochet. Sometimes I get so tongue tied trying to say all this stuff. Uh, yarn over the hook and work your second double crochet into that same space. Yarn over the hook and work your third double crochet. So there you have your three double crochet in your corner. And you can tell it's a corner because you have the three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet on the same space. So that's where you want to start that first set of three double crochet. You skip three double crochet and work your next three double crochet between the skip three double crochet and the next three double crochet. And we do not chain, when you get these done, do not chain. The holes get really big and I kind of like, if you see this, how, how nicely the holes, you can see the holes, but they're not real big. If you chain a one, it just gaps so big. It's, it's just, I just didn't like it. Um, so, okay. We're going to skip the next three double crochet and we're going to work three double crochet between the skip three double crochet and the next set of three double crochet. So we're going to work three double crochet, yarn over the hook and work your first in that 
space between the two sets of three double crochet. Yarn over the hook and work your second double crochet into that same space. Yarn over the hook and work your third double crochet in that same space. So you can see how you have your stitches going in between each set of three double crochet. Now we're at the corner. So this is going to be your, well I guess it won't be a repeat because we're only going around two sides so I'm just going to go ahead and work it. So we're at our corner. So for this corner you do need to make your corner stitch. You're going to work three double crochet, chain two, and three double crochet exactly like the corner below it to form your corner. So yarn over the hook, insert it into that corner, chain two, chain, yeah, chain two space, and work your first double crochet. Yarn over the hook, work your second double crochet in that same chain two space of the corner. Yarn over the hook and work your third double crochet in the same corner chain two space. So now we're going to form our corner and work down the second side. So you're going to chain two. You're going to yarn over the hook and you're going to work your first double crochet of another three. Yarn over the hook and work the second double crochet. some yarn out. Sorry about that. It's just a new skein and it's a little harder to pull. Okay, so we need one more. Yarn over the hook and work your third double crochet in that same corner chain two space. So you'll notice you just formed a corner. Three double crochet, chain two, and three double crochet. So now we're going to work on our second side and we're almost finished. So you're going to put the yarn over your hook. You're going to skip the next three double crochet and you're going to work three double crochet between the skip three double crochet and the next three double crochet. So insert your hook and work your first double crochet. Yarn over the hook and work your second double crochet in that same space. Yarn over the hook and work your third. Now you're going to do it again. You're going to work three double crochet. You're going to skip the next three and you're going to work three double crochet between the skip three double crochet and your next set of three double crochet. So right between those stitches right there we're going to work three double crochet. So yarn over the hook, insert it into that space and work your first double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert it into that same space and work your second double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert it into that same space and work your third double crochet. So now we're over to the corner but because we're only working around two sides we're going to end with just three double crochet. So yarn over the hook, skip the next three double crochet and you're going to work three double crochet into the corner chain two space. So yarn over the hook and work your first double crochet. Yarn over the hook and work your second. Yarn over the hook and work your third and final double crochet. Now I call this a round because you still are going around two sides. I'm not really sure as long as I've been crocheting when you only go around two sides I'm not sure if it's a round or a row but I'm calling it a round. So we went around two sides. So now we are going to start round five. So we're just going to turn our work and we're going to come back and we're going to go around the two sides one more time. So in order to do this you're going to chain three. You're going to turn your work. So now this will be the wrong side. You'll be working on the wrong side. So you're going to skip the next the next two double crochet. So you'll skip your chain three axis the first. I hope you can see that. It lines up with the first double crochet. You're going to skip these next two and you're always going to be work your, working your stitches between the sets of three double crochet. 
Okay, so we chain three, yarn over the hook, skip those next two double crochet, <coughs> and work three double crochet between the skip two double crochet and the next set of three double crochet. So insert your hook and work your first double crochet. Work your second, yarn over the hook, and work your third. So when you look at your work, you will have your chain three, which is your first double crochet, and it kind of forms a like a little box, a little square opening there. That's what it's supposed to look like. And then you worked your three double crochet. So, <clears throat> so now, excuse me, <clears throat> so now we're going to work three double crochet between each set of three double crochet across to our corner. So let's go ahead and work them. Yarn over the hook, insert it in that space between the, those two sets of three double crochet and work three double crochet. There's our first. Yarn over the hook and work the second in the same space. Yarn over the hook and work your third in that same space between those two sets of three double crochet. So now we're going to do it again. We're going to skip three double crochet. We're going to work three double crochet in the space between the skip three double crochet and the next three double crochet. So yarn over the hook and work your first double crochet. Yarn over the hook and work your second. Yarn over the hook and work your third. Now we're at our corner, so we're going to go ahead and work three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet, all in this corner chain two space to form our corner. Yarn over the hook and work your first double crochet. Yarn over the hook and work your second double crochet. Yarn over the hook and work your third double crochet. We're going to chain two to form, form that corner and you're just going to turn your work a little bit and you're going to work down the other side of your block. <clears throat> so yarn over the hook and work your first double crochet in that same corner chain two space. Yarn over the hook and work your second in that same corner chain two space. Yarn over the hook and work your third double crochet of that corner space. So you should have three double crochet, chain two, and three double crochet all in that corner chain two space. Whoops. Trying to regulate it so you can see a little bit more and I'm <laughs> playing with my camera. Okay, so this is what your work should look like. Now we're going to work three double crochet between the next between we're going to skip three oh I'm tongue-tied we're going to skip three double crochet work three double crochet in this next space between the skip three double crochet and the next set of three double crochet and then we're going to do it twice more so go ahead and work three double crochet one two three more times between those three double crochet sets and I'll meet you when you finish your last three here and I'll show you how to finish this round. Okay, I'm over at the end of round five. So this is what your work should look like. You have the wrong side facing. <clears throat> you worked your one, your chain three for your first double crochet. You skip two and you work three double crochet in between each set of three double crochet across to the corner. You worked three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet in the corner, and then you repeated and worked three double crochet between each set of three double crochet over to your last space. So now to finish this round, we're going to match the beginning. We're going to put our yarn over the hook. We're going to skip the next two double crochet, and you're going to count up to the third chain of this turning chain here. Insert your hook, yarn over the hook, 
pull it through the stitch, yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops only, yarn over the hook and pull it two, through two loops. So you just made a double crochet into the top of that turning chain three and that's the end of round five. We only worked around two rounds. So I'm going to fasten off my work. And then again, I just take my hook and I go in and out of the top of the stitches. I weave that thread through and then when I come back and work the next round, it just secures that into place and it's it's a little bit easier to do it right now when you're doing your work and then later on it saves you so much from weaving in ends with the yarn needle because even I get frustrated with that. I hate weaving in ends. I really do. I think we all dislike the tedious tasks, especially if you have a lot of them. Okay. So we just finished round five. We're going to start round six. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my light raspberry and I'll be right back to start round six. We're going to start round six. The wrong side of your work is facing. So you just want to turn that work. I'm going to insert my hook into the top of that beginning double crochet right underneath the top of the stitch. Let's see if I can. You're just going to follow that stitch up and insert your hook into that first stitch, that first double crochet. I leave a small length. I just hold it on to the back of my work. I grab that new color and I just pull it through. So we're going to chain three. Now the row below has the little square opening and then the row below that you'll see your three double crochet. So we want to match this row here so we're going to work two double crochet into this space here between the first double crochet and the next double crochet. So yarn over the hook, insert your hook into that space between the first and second double crochet and you're going to work two double crochet. There's my first. Yarn over the hook and I'm going to work my second in that same space. So we have three double crochet into that space. I have my chain three as the first double crochet and then we work two more. So for this round, whoops, we're going to work, we're going to skip three double crochet and we're going to work three double crochet in the space between the skip three and the next three. So you're going to work three double crochet in between each set of three double crochet across to your corner. So go ahead and work them across. We'll meet here and I'll be right back to show you how to do your corner. I'm over to my corner and you should have a total of four sets of three double crochet and each set of three double crochet is worked in between the three double crochet of the row below. Okay, so we're going to work our corner. So our corner will be three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet, all in the same corner chain two space. So yarn over the hook and work your first double crochet. Yarn over the hook and work your second double crochet in that same corner chain two space. Yarn over the hook and work your third. You're going to chain two. You're going to turn your work so you can work across the second side. Yarn over the hook and you're going to work three more double crochet in that same corner chain two space. There's our first. Yarn over the hook and work your second double crochet. Yarn over the hook and work your third double crochet. Now if I'm going a little too fast, just pause the video and catch up. And then when you're ready, just go ahead and start the video again. So now we're going to work across our second side. So you're going to work three double crochet 
between each set of three double crochet across to right before the corner. Do not work in the corner chain two space. Stop right here. So you'll have one, two, three sets of three double crochet. So yarn over the hook and work three double crochet but in between the next two sets of three double crochet. There's our second and there's our third. You're going to put the yarn over your hook, you're going to skip the next three double crochet, and you're going to work three double crochet in between those next two sets of three double crochet. So basically you're working a granny square, only you're only going around two sides. Three double crochet into the next space between the next two sets of three double crochet. There's our second. And there's our third. So now we're over to the corner. So when you're working this, you always end the way you started. We started with three double crochet. We're going to end with three double crochet. So we're going to work three double crochet into our corner chain two space. So there's one. There's two. And there's three. So now round six is complete. We're getting ready to do round seven. So I'll be right back and show you how to do round seven. We're getting ready to start round seven and it's going to be exactly like round five. We're going to start with a chain three. We're going to skip two double crochet and then we're going to work three double crochet between each set of three double crochet across to the corner and then we will work our three double crochet chain two three double crochet in the corner and then we're going to work three double crochet between each three double crochet across until you get to this last space you'll work your three double crochet skip two and work one double crochet in this last stitch so let's get started we're going to chain three one two three you're going to turn your work. So this round will be worked on the wrong side. So yarn over the hook. You're going to skip the next two double crochet and work your three double crochet in between these two sets of three double crochet. So work your first double crochet. Yarn over the hook and work your second. yarn over the hook and work your third. So we're going to work three double crochet one, two, three times more in between the three double crochet stitches. So three double crochet in this space, three double crochet in between these two sets of three double crochet, and three double crochet in the space between those two. So let's go ahead and do that. Yarn over the hook and we're going to work three double crochet in this next space between the two three double crochet groups. You're going to work three double crochet in the space between the next two groups of three double crochet. So yarn over the hook and work your first double crochet yarn over the hook and work your second double crochet yarn over the hook and work your third now we're going to work three double crochet in this next space between the next two set of three double crochet so yarn over the hook and work your next three double crochet in that same space between the next two three double crochet groups And this is what your work should look like. You started with the chain three, that's your first double crochet. You skip two stitches and then you work three double crochet four times in between the three, in, in between the groups of three double crochet across. We're now over to our corner. <clears throat> so we're going to work three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet 
all in this corner chain two space right here so yarn over the hook and work your first three double crochet there's our second yarn over the hook and there's our third <coughs> chain two you're going to turn your work so you can work across the second side yarn over the hook and you're going to work three double crochet into that same corner chain two space so yarn over the hook and work your second double crochet yarn over the hook and work your third you just completed your corner so now we're going to work that's my little edging I snipped that off we're going to work three double crochet one two three four times more in between these sets of three double crochet across so in each space in between the three double crochet we're going to work three double crochet so yarn over the hook and work three double crochet in that space between the next two sets of three double crochet so there's two and there's three we're going to work three double crochet in the next space between the three double crochet groups of two there's one there's two and there's three You're going to skip the next three double crochet and you're going to work three double crochet between the skip three and the next three right in that space between the two groups so there's our first yarn over the hook and there's our second double crochet yarn over the hook and there's our third we're going to skip the next three and we're going to work three double crochet in between the last two sets of three double crochet groups so yarn over the hook and work your first yarn over the hook and work your second double crochet yarn over the hook and work your third so we're now at the end so again when you're working this you're going to end the way you started we started here with this beginning chain three and then we skip two stitches so now we're going to do the same on the end we're going to skip two stitches we're going to follow our turning chain up we're going to work a double crochet into the top of that turning chain three so yarn over the hook skip two double crochet stitches and work a double crochet into the top of that ending chain three space you just completed round seven we're going to fasten off our work and then we're going to do our eighth and final round of our block so I just pull that down and again I pull that yarn through the top of my stitches and I think I go over about five or six stitches and then when you work your stitches back around they secure that in place and then I just take my scissors and snip that off doll scissors then I just snip this one off just be careful you don't snip those ends so this is what your work should look like you're on the wrong side so let me grab my white and we're going to do our final round which will go completely around our block and I'll be right back I'm back and this we just completed round seven and you're on the wrong side of the work so you're going to go ahead and turn your work over to the right side your little uh, daisy popcorn stitch flower should be facing up we're going to go over and we're going to insert our hook between the first and second double crochet so this is your last stitch that you made of the last round insert your hook right between those stitches I leave a short length I just let that hang I put my yarn up against my work like so and then I just pull that new color through and then I work over the ends and then I'll come back and weave them in we're going to chain three that is our first double crochet 
and then we're going to work two double crochet into the same space. So yarn over the hook and work your next double crochet, yarn over the hook and work your third. So the chain one counts as your first double crochet. I usually pull this back a little bit and then I come back and weave that in. The chain three counts as your first double crochet and then two double crochet. So basically round eight we're going to be working three double crochet between each set of three double crochet around and then we work three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet in the corner. You're going to repeat that around the two sides and then when we get to this side this set of three double crochet here you're just going to skip that whole thing so that is still three double crochet so you're just going to work over here go in this space skip that go in there and then continue on and repeat that across so let's get started with round eight i just kind of like to explain a little bit about what you're going to do before you do it so grab your yarn and we're going to work three double crochet between the next two sets of three double crochet. So yarn over the hook and work your three double crochet. There's two and there's three. And like I said I might be going just a little bit faster with this because uh, I'm trying to show you the whole thing. Uh, you can always pause the video and then when you catch up then you can just continue on. Okay, yarn over the hook and work three double crochet between the next two sets of three double crochet. Now you don't have to stop at round eight if you don't want to. Like once you get this border around the whole complete block, that's up to you if you want to put an extra round, you know, like continue around again or not. That's up to you. Okay, so yarn over the hook and work three double crochet between the next two sets of three double crochet. Yarn over the hook and work three double crochet between the next two sets of three double crochet. There's two and there's three. We're going to go ahead and work our corner now. So we're going to be working three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet, all in the same corner chain two space. So yarn over the hook and work three double crochet. chain two, turn your work and you're going to be working across that second side, yarn over the hook and work three double crochet. Okay, so now you're going to work three double crochet in between each one of these sets of three double crochet across. So that's one, two, three, four times more. So go ahead and work those four sets of three double crochet and I'll be right back. I just worked my four sets of three double crochet across the second side and now I'm over to the corner. So we're going to go ahead and work three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet into this corner chain two space. So you'll notice this doesn't look like a regular corner because we only did a half corner. So go ahead and work three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet all in this corner space here. So yarn over the hook, work your first double crochet, yarn over the hook and work your second. Yarn over the hook and work your third. You're going to chain two, you're going to turn your work and you are now going to be working across your third side. So let me zoom out just a little bit. I'm not real good with this camera. Okay. So you just worked around two sides. We're going to work around the third. So yarn over the hook and work three double crochet in that same corner chain 
in that same corner space. Actually, that's a double crochet. So it's between the next to the last and the last double crochet of this side. So work three more double crochet. Here's one. There's two. And there's three. You just made your corner to work across the third side. So now these are row ends. So we're going to work three double crochet. So you're going to skip this next set, this next row end stitch and this set of three. And you're going to work in the space here. So yarn over the hook and work three double crochet around that next row end stitch. So there's our first yarn over the hook, you're going in that same space. Yarn over the hook and you're going to work your third double crochet all in that same space. You're actually working around that last double crochet of that row. Okay, so you have your corner and then you have your set. It's in between those rows around that row end stitch. Okay. So now you're going to put the yarn over your hook and we're going to work three double crochet in this space. We're going to skip that next row and stitch and that set of three double crochet and we're going to go right below that row and right between that next set of three double crochet right here in this space here. So yarn over the hook and work three double crochet all in that same space. There's two and there's three. Now you're going to work three double crochet in between each set of three double crochet across the corner. So we'll work three double crochet twice more and then we'll do our corner. So yarn over the hook and work three double crochet in between. We'll skip those three and we'll work three double crochet in between those two three double crochet groups. So there's our first, yarn over the hook and work your second double crochet, yarn over the hook and work your third. We're going to skip the next three and we're going to work three double crochet in between these two three double crochet groups. So yarn over the hook and work three double crochet. There's one, there's two, and there's three. So now we're over to our third corner. So we're going to work our corner stitch which will be exactly like the one below it. You're going to work three double crochet, chain two, and three double crochet all in that chain two space. So yarn over the hook, work three double crochet, chain two, yarn over the hook and work three more double crochet all in that same corner chain two space right here. Yarn over the hook and work your third. So there you have three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet all in that corner chain two space. You're going to turn your work and you're going to work your fourth and final side of this block and you can see how the white's going completely around and that's what finishes your block. And like I said, you can put another round of white around this if you would like, if you would like it a little bit wider of a border. Okay, so working across, we're going to do three double crochet in between each set of three double crochet. So when you get down here, these are actually row end stitches because we didn't go all the way around the block. So let's get started on our last side. Yarn over the hook and skip these three double crochet and work three double crochet in between those two groups of three double crochet. So there's one. Yarn over the hook and work your second double crochet. Yarn over the hook and work your third in that same space between those two groups of three double crochet. We're going to do it again. We're going to skip three double crochet and we're going to work three double crochet in the space in between those two groups. So yarn over the hook and work your first double crochet. 
yarn over the hook and work your second yarn over the hook and work your third so you just did your corner and then you did two sets of three double crochet so now we're going to skip the next set of three double crochet and we're going to work right in this space here between the row end stitch and this set of three double crochet so we're going to work right here in this space so yarn over the hook and work your first double crochet yarn over the hook and work your second in that same space yarn over the hook and work your third double crochet in that same space so now we're going to skip this row end stitch in this set of three double crochet and we're going to work three double crochet right over top and around this end double crochet here of this next row so yarn over the hook skip this row and work three double crochet right around this end double crochet of that row end stitch so there's one yarn over the hook and there's two double crochet yarn over the hook and there's three now we're going to skip this here row and stitch of this here uh, three double crochet group and we're going to go up here and finish our corner we're going to yarn over the hook and we're going to work three double crochet right here in the same corner space there's our second yarn over the hook and there's our third you need to chain two to complete that corner and then you're going to turn your work so now you just crocheted around all four sides and we're going to join our round so you're going to come down here and count up to the top of that third chain to the top of the beginning chain three insert your hook yarn over the hook pull it through that stitch and through the loop whoops through the loop on your hook I'm going to fasten off and then I just pull that down and you just completed your block so again this is pattern number one three four and I call it the daisy in the corner it could have another name uh, I hope you enjoyed this video um, this one I think I'm going to make into a blanket I just kind of like the pink ones I do like the blue too it's it's really hard you make these and then you can't decide and they all look so nice and again if you want something a little more powerful a little more high contrast this red white and black the blue is a nice soft calming effect and the pink is kind of like eh, what do I want to say kind of Victorian-ish looking so thanks for stopping by. I hope you had fun. Uh, I'd love so, to see some pictures of some of the projects all my subscribers are making. So you can go ahead and send me a couple pictures. Uh, I do have a Facebook group called Creative Grandma. So if, if you're on Facebook, go ahead and join my group. And we have a wonderful, um, I think we're up to 30,000 members and we show photos we show patterns we show yarns that are, are available uh, all kinds of different things uh, and if you need help with something there's so many members that if you have a question I'm sure somebody in our group could help you so check that out creative grandma on Facebook the crochet group and post those pictures I'd really like to see it so have fun crocheting and please like comment and subscribe to my channel have fun crocheting!